Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make crock pot pork chops. This is a great recipe to do during the week when you're busy, you can put it on in the morning before you go to work and it's ready when you get home. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different tips and things to do to make them taste really terrific. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, everybody, let's go over our ingredients so we can get started. Here I have two very large pork shoulder blade steaks. I've got some fresh basil from my garden as well as some parsley. I've got some minced garlic, yellow onion that has got the super fine dice, chicken broth. I have one bay leaf, a little bit of brown sugar, some cornstarch, a little bit of red wine, salt and pepper, and we'll need a little bit of coconut oil. All right, everybody, so what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna do one of the things to make this dish taste really good. This is one of my tips. We're gonna sear our pork chops. Now I've got them right here. I'm just gonna salt them up a little bit and pepper them. I've got my pan here preheating uh, over medium high heat. I want this pan to be nice and hot before I put the meat into it. Once this pan is just about getting ready to smoke up a little bit, we're gonna add a little bit of coconut oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my chops in there. You hear that sizzle? That's what you wanna hear. I'm gonna place those in there for probably about three minutes per side. And I'm gonna go ahead and salt the other side of the pork chops here and pepper them. These have been uh, searing now for about three and a half minutes, so go, let's go ahead and turn them over. And they, they do tend to release from the pan after they've uh, seared up. Look at that, nice and brown. That's what you want. And we're gonna let these go for another three, three and a half minutes. All right, now it's time to take our meat out. We're gonna set it aside on a clean plate. And we're just going to keep these nice and warm. I'm just going to place some foil right over the top. And now we're going to move into our onions. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to the pan, probably another tablespoon of oil. Now we've got those brown bits sticking to the bottom of this pan, which is great because that's going to add even more flavor to our little sauce in our uh, crock pot. So we're going to add our onions to this. And I'm going to saute these until they brown up. So it's going to be, you know, five or six minutes or so. Now we're, we're on medium low heat right now. All right, you can see here that uh, our onions, they've picked up that nice golden brown look. Uh, this is going to make this dish really taste great, guys. That's, that's a secret for you. You could throw everything into a crock pot, but you're not going to get the kind of flavors that we're building right here. So you got to try this. Now we're going to add our garlic and we're going to stir this for just one minute. That's all we need. All right, so our last addition now is the wine. This is gonna help deglaze the rest of that, you know, brown bits that are stuck on the bottom. You're gonna work them out. I am gonna add the brown sugar right here, just to kinda get it to dissolve in. So the last thing we wanna do here is take our chicken broth, and I'm gonna add the cornstarch to it, and just whisk that in. You wanna add your cornstarch to a cold liquid, and then we're gonna pour it into our onion mixture. And we're gonna bring this just to a boil. All right, so now all we have to do is place our chops right into our crock pot. I'm gonna pour all the juice on the plate as well. And then our sauce here, I'm just gonna pour carefully into the pot. All right, guys, we need to add our herbs. I'm gonna to toss in the bay leaf with our basil leaves. I'm just gonna stack them up and then roll them up and just slice away. And then we'll toss that in and just cut up some parsley. All right, and take your parsley and sprinkle that in. And I'm just gonna sort of move it around a little bit so it gets in the sauce. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna put this on high for about four, probably about four hours. Hey guys, the pork chops have been cooking on high for four hours. Now you could also cook this on low and, and go seven or eight hours. That would be fine too, you know, if you're working or whatever. And I'll tell you, the longer it goes, the more tender that meat becomes. I'm gonna take a piece out of here while they're, it's kind of falling apart. So you can tell that it's just super duper tender. So I'll place it on there. And I made two kinds of potatoes. Well, actually one kind of potato. 
I made the cauliflower mashed potatoes, and I have a link for you for that right over here. And then I made garlic mashed potatoes because my husband likes those better. He doesn't care for the cauliflower. So here it is. Check this out. Looks nice and fluffy. This is my dinner. I am starving. It smells incredible in here. Oh gosh, guys, you got to try this. And then you can take a little bit of the, the gravy. And of course, you could put it on your potatoes or your, you know, right on your meat there. And that's it. It's super simple. It's a great dinner for, you know, weeknight. And I hope you guys will try it. So I'm going to take a little bite here. The meat is just very, very tender, guys. I mean, it's just falling apart and it's very hot. Oh, that's really tender. So good, guys. The gravy is nice. It's got that, I can taste the hint of the wine. It's got a nice, rich flavor to it. Really delicious. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you like the video, please share it and, you know, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment, of course. I like to hear from you. And, um, you know, be sure and subscribe if you haven't yet. Just click that button up there and that way you'll know when new videos come out every week. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time with another delicious recipe.